Hello, today's hot topic from the Affinity Cam Studio is microphones. And you know, microphones are so important to getting good quality audio that I want to share with you some of my favorite picks. I'm Robert Arnott, the inventor of the Affinity Cam, and you know, I hope I can save you either some trial and error or at least be able to help you feel more confident when you go looking for microphones or possibly even upgrading from something you're already using. So let's start by thinking about just the scope that I'm going to talk about. To be clear, we're not talking about microphones like really high-end musician studio things. They're, um, you know, I guess you can spend lots and lots, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on anything like this. And so we have maybe our top of the line is the is the made by a company called Blue and it's the Yeti microphone. I'll show you that in a moment, but um, it's around one hundred and twenty dollars and you can go down from there. And so I'll show you those. And I want to also be clear that um, these are the type of microphones that are running on USB. They plug into the side of your computer or laptop. And so those two things kind of defining the, the scope of what we're, what we're working on. You know, I will show you, you know, there's a lot of people that you see doing, um, let's say Zoom calls or um, some, usually it's, it's some kind of video conference wearing just the earbuds with the dangly microphone. And those actually aren't in the scope that I'm talking about. They normally are plugging into either um, oftentimes a smartphone and then or into the side of the laptop just through the, um, the, the little round connection port. But, you know, USB provides quite a, an array. And so we're going to... Um, we're going to switch now to a different camera and I'm going to be now talking to you about the different types of microphones. And while I'm doing that, I want to show you, show you how it sounds. I think would be the way to say it, right? I'm going to start at the top and we'll work our way through this whole collection I have here. And so I can actually control the audio from my um, Affinity Cam desktop here. And turn on the Yeti. So I've just now, um, I've been using a wireless lavalier mic just to be able to have a reference mic, but it's really not in the discussion for today. So this is the Yeti microphone right here. It really is um, pretty amazing in that it has um, actually multiple microphone capsules on it. And so you can get different, um, you can have where it picks up sound all around. You can pick up sound from just having, um, let's say if you're doing a podcast with somebody else, you can pick up from both sides. And in particular, the way I have it set, it's called the cardioid pattern where it's from the mic out to me and that really helps get rid of the, um, the excess room noise. It has an adjustment for amplitude and I think it's amazing because of what it can do for um, Picking up, like if I'm a, few, a couple of feet away from it, I think the sound is still really good. You always, unless you're using something like a headset microphone though, need to have speakers, which you can see I have my speakers here. They're not on right now, but um, so that's, anyways, what we'll do is we're gonna just run down this list, okay? So um, I do wanna make a point. I think Blue Microphones is one of the most amazing manufacturers of microphones. They also have a smaller version of this called the Nano and also then a little snow, uh, one called the Snowball. But you know, once you, once you sort of, if you haven't already started recognizing this, as you're seeing people doing um, video, live video and broadcasting um, where they show the microphone is being used, it is very often is the Yeti. So, you know, I think um, it's, it's pretty amazing, okay? And depending on, you know, how Amazon with costs, sometimes you can find it for 99. It's, it's well worth what you um, would pay for it. So let's switch now from the Yeti. And so this is, believe it or not, um, and I wouldn't normally have the webcam just sitting here. We're not, I'm using it to demonstrate its microphone. If it was down here, it'd be looking at my nose, right? But here's the thing. These two speak um, microphones on either side of the, the the Logitech C920 webcam are actually pretty good as you can hear right now, right? Now, um, while I've got the upgraded 
version of the Affinity Cam with a, a mirrorless camera on the back. When you have one that has the, um, the webcam on the inside, well, obviously the microphone on the webcam won't buy you much because it's sort of back inside the, um, the housing. But So that's the Logitech webcam. Now, the next one here is the MPOW USB headset microphone, and I'd like to switch to that. What we'll do is I'll, I'll put it on so you can hear me using it. Now, one of the things that's interesting with the headset microphone is that it does provide you privacy, like what the other person is saying. You might be... Um, and for some reason needing to be confidential with that. Uh, but the other thing is, I think if you're doing a video call, it's really not the best to have these headset on, right? And so um, while it serves you, and you can hear that it, it's actually a pretty good, um, pretty good audio signal. And while, I'm, while I've got it on, I want to say that this piece that's part of that. And by the way, it's only $23 for this headset, the microphone, the whole arrangement. There are also adapters that are, um, this one is called, uh, from a company called Sab Rent, and um, it is for the low price of $10, you can plug in a all the different little microphones with the round plug, and it comes out as a USB. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, switch from the MPOW wireless, which is the, this is called the Fifine, Fifine, it's um, very fine, and so I've just, I've just clipped it on, so this is a USB lavalier, and the USB lavalier microphone provides you now the ability where I could be turning around, I can move about, but I think you'll hear that this isn't quite the best quality, certainly not what the Yeti can do. And so that USB mic right here, um, the pickup is on my shirt, and then there's a little USB, um, again, adapter right here. And so that then is the, um, that's the arrangement that I think would be good to see and you know if it was me and a lot of other people i think would agree is that the yeti microphone even though it's kind of big is so amazing with its audio pickup and it's one of those things where you invest once it's not like a subscription you know where you have to keep paying it's really just um, an amazing microphone and I absolutely love it, the, the voice that it has, and also that I can kind of come in and go out. And so there's one more thing I thought it would be interesting for you to see, and that's, um, that's just the fact that since, you know, um, again, this may look like a teleprompter from the side, but it is running an entire, my whole computer desktop. And I think if I just turn it, you can probably see what... Um, what I've been seeing in there, and that is um, my entire vMix operating system. And so I'm able to look right at the operating system and the camera at the same time. And that's, I think, um, it's just amazing. The more I get used to it, the more um, it just, it provides so much more focus on being able to see right in front of me what I need to be focusing on aside from the camera lens. And indeed, as you can see, even though it's kind of small right here, um, uh, everything I can uh, do, I can read it. I'm right in front of um, the camera. And I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. You can find out more about me and the product here at affinitycam.com. And so please feel free to check that out. And I'd love to hear what you've come up with. And Let's go get them, okay? Thanks. Here's to your good audio.